hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the mentorship corner my name is Tibianum Tanda so if you are new to my channel welcome welcome don't forget to like share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe so that you can join our family it's that time of the year guys it's the end of the year it's been a lot it's been a long year but it's also been an amazing year uh, at least in my world it's been an amazing year so much of growth so much of lessons learned and i am grateful to be sitting in front of your screens again um and just sharing my thoughts and my experiences with you guys this is like the last video of the year so i am super excited and also a bit sad i'm gonna miss you guys a lot but i'll be taking my december break um as of today <laughs> to just like relax and rest um i've been away for a bit because i've been so exhausted guys like i've been coming back home and just sleeping i would add some reading there and there but i've just been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping which is one of the reasons why i'm performing today's video so i've got some notes that i've written down so i will be looking down a bit just to make sure i don't miss anything because it's gonna be a little bit of it's like a lot of information that i'm going to be sharing today but it's also important things so i don't want to forget anything and i don't want to leave anything out so yeah before i take any of any more of your time let's get into the video so for today's video we are going to be talking about resting recharging and refocusing actually recharging and refocusing are the same thing. resting and recharging are the same thing it's resting refocusing and resetting um your life to prepare for the year ahead so it's going to be divided into those three sections so it's going to, we're going to start with the resting section then we'll do the refocusing and then we'll do the resetting so let's start with the resting so when i talk rest i talk sleep i talk take time out of work i'm talking take time out from people and take time and be with yourself and be with the people that you love and take care of yourself while at it so before i the first thing i want to talk to you about is your end fatigue your end fatigue is real guys so um it is very 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 important to set a few days in december or a few days during the festive season to rest and focus on yourself and your self-care at the end of the year we are all tired we are all exhausted and that's normal it's not a song that everyone sings it's a year is a lot of days and throughout the year we put in a lot of work to work on our goals to work on getting better every day and that requires a lot of our energy and sometimes i know because i do it sometimes we don't really take enough time to rest during the year but but come end of the year we are super exhausted and we do need to take time out so take time out and sleep and also take them out for maybe like a rest, a rest retreat go on a vacation with your family um and make sure you practice good self-care you know it's a good self-care routine it could be doing a mask for your face doing a facial at home um getting your nails done going for spa treatment anything really that resonates with you and self-care could be reading a book um watching your favorite series listening to your favorite podcast whatever it is rest and do exactly that to take care of yourself and make sure that you're fully rested and fully relaxed and recharged for the year ahead the last thing i want to talk about under the rest topic is basically these are like a few things you can we can do i've already mentioned a few so you can sleep in you can go to a spa you can go on a solo date basically rest 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 and um the last thing that i don't want to forget is don't forget to reward yourself you know what it's been a long year it's been a busy year we've lost a lot of people we've lost a lot of things our lives have changed for the better and unfortunately for some of us for the worst so try to see if you can reward yourself for everything that you've survived you know what the fact that you are still alive today you survived the year you survived through the pandemic for the year and you've done great you know be grateful for that and reward yourself for that and thank god and thank yourself for for pushing it through you know for pushing it through so remember rest 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 and rest reward yourself take care of yourself so get like a good self-care routine and get in enough sleep during this this festive season for you right now let's refocus this is very 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 important because it allows you to have a look at how far you've come and how much you've achieved 
and then you can kind of have an idea of what may need to be done in the following year for you to continue to live out your dreams for you to continue living your best life so refocusing is important um because we need to do your year-end reflection so remember honesty is key throughout anything so be brutally brutally honest with yourself then you will know exactly where you are and what needs to be changed and how you can actually change it for yourself right so the first thing on this um under this topic is we need to review our goals remember we had a vision board i showed you guys how you can set out your goals i showed you guys how you can build your action plan and then i did a few videos throughout the year where i was doing our like quarterly check-ins to check if we are still in line with our goals if we're still following our plan through and all of that that's very very important still very important so um go back sit down with your vision board sit down with your goals um with your goals set for the year and just first tick off everything that you've achieved and then look at what you haven't achieved and then make a decision whether you want to work on it next year or you don't and then you can start deciding um on some of the things that you can plan for next year um and yeah basically that's about it so review your goals it's very 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 important it allows you to see where you are in building your life building your career and building your relationships right and then i've got four important questions that you need to ask yourself as i said honesty is key so these may be a little bit sensitive but they're very very important for you to be able to become a better version of yourself and to achieve everything that you want to achieve so the first question is where am i financially so be honest with yourself about your finances second question is where am i mentally so your mental health is very important where are you mentally so where am i mentally is the second question the third question is where am i emotionally so this can relate to your relationship so your relationship with yourself your relationship with your family and your friends your relationship with your spouse or your husband very 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 important where am i emotionally and then the last question is where am i physically physical health is just as important as mental health and just as important as your emotional well-being and just as important as your financial health so where are you physically are you at the body weight that you wanted to achieve are you at a weight a good weight are you eating healthy are you taking care of yourself are you exercising regularly these are some of, some of the questions you need to answer when you're answering the question so four important questions that you need to ask yourself where am i financially where am i emotionally where am i mentally and where am i um physically in summary this refocus button is for you to just check in on yourself and have an understanding of your overall well-being so that you can know if there is anything you need to work on what is it and then you can start deciding on how you can go about working on that now we are over to the last part of our our video basically um so now we are going to talk about resetting i love this like i wish i could just click a reset button every week in my life just okay let's try again this is not working cut let's refilm let's find again no no no, no. cut honestly guys i don't know how many times i actually reset my life because um it's not necessarily because it's not going the way i wanted to even when it does it's going the way i wanted to i just want to make sure that i'm in line with everything and i'm happy with how everything is working out so resetting for me means putting everything where it's supposed to be according to you and your standards right so put everything where it's meant to be the first thing we're going to do to reset our lives and to reset for the next year is to clean our houses properly so wash your windows change your curtains I don't know wash your curtains just clean your house thoroughly and declutter um so take away things that you no longer need um i'm gonna run through a few things that you can do to take away things you no longer need but just clean your house and make sure it's like in a good condition for you and for you know the people around you if you're not staying alone so the the next thing you want to do is you want to clean your working space um if you're like myself you have a full-time job but you work on content or you work on something else on the side you will have a working space so make sure you clean your working space and make sure that you throw away all the things that you no longer use so check your pens check your documents check your old stationery that needs to be thrown away get these out of the way 
um, and leave things that you are actually still using and things that you actually still need, right? So clean your working space. The next thing you want to do is you want to clean your wardrobe. Very, very, very important. So at the end of the year, this is when you can actually go into your wardrobe and check for things that you no longer use. Could be shoes, could be a bag you used to use, you no longer use, could be clothes you used to wear that you no longer, you haven't worn in about the, like the past year or so. So take all those things out. There's a lot of um, charity organizations where you can send your stuff through. So send them through and they will definitely find like someone who will you reuse those clothes for you, who will actually use them instead of you keeping them in the wardrobe and just chilling and doing nothing. Um, and then the last thing you want to do, um, if you can, you can start preparing for the year ahead. I generally do this by buying my stationery in December. So I'm going to go ahead now and buy my calendar for the year. I'm going to buy my weekly planner. I'm going to buy my daily planner. And then I'm going to buy my journal for the, for the following year. And then remember when I spoke about journaling, there was a part where I was telling you guys about the different journals. So I've got a personal journal. I've got a business journal. I have got um, my emotional journal and my career journal, basically. So my emotional journal, I started keeping that when I started doing my therapy sessions with my psychologist because I just thought that was very important. He would give me some stuff that I had to do, um, some reflections I had to do. So I did that on my emotional journal. And I found that ever since I started doing that, I've actually used that journal quite more often because when I'm going through something, apart from just writing it on my journal, because that's where I just write how I felt about the whole thing, I'm able to go into my emotional journal and just like dissect the whole situation properly. Same thing goes for my business journal. If I'm having a business idea that I would like to accomplish, I write it down there and I break it down like to the core. That's what I do because I write a lot. So if you are a writer, get all your journals up and running. Get your business journal, emotional journal, your um, career journal for, for growing your career, as well as your personal journal. I'm going to get all of those this year um and then i'll be ready for the year but you can do other things as well maybe you want to go and sign up for a gym membership for next year or you want to join a dance class or whatever start looking for those things so that you can actually start putting in the work time next year you just you're just basically maybe signing a few papers and stuff like that and you're good to go um so yeah that's about it so remember the three are very 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 important you must rest you must refocus and you must reset to prepare for the year ahead and to actually, you know, allow the year that you've had to sink in and to do a thorough reflection around that as well. In conclusion, I just want to say it's been amazing um, having you guys. This year, there was a lot of technical glitches because I was doing most of my interviews online. Next year, I'm going to try and do them in person depending on the COVID restrictions. But I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do them in person because I just feel the personal interaction is way more better than um, doing it digitally. Um, and the last thing I want to say is I am taking my break, as I said. So I'm not going to be posting anything on my social media. I'm not going to be posting anything on my YouTube channel. Maybe on my socials, I'm going to maybe do like a short vlog on when I'm buying my um, stationery and because I still need to look for another apartment. I'm moving again, guys. <laughs> so maybe I'll do like a short vlog when I'm going like to view the places and stuff. Um, I'll see. I'll decide on that. But I'm really just taking a break and taking time with myself. And then I'm going to spend some time with my family. And yeah, I'll be back the second week of January. That's when I'll fully be back on YouTube again. I love you guys absolutely a lot. Your support has been amazing. Um, let's continue growing our community. Let's continue learning together. Let's just continue growing together and becoming better versions of ourselves than the ones that we were the previous day or the previous years. I love you guys. Enjoy your festive season. Enjoy time with your family and friends and time with yourself. From me and the Mentorship Corner, it is goodbye for now.